everybody, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another episode of my new Let's Build series. You were all really nice about that one and you all gave me a lot of really good comments, so thank you all very, very much. And you gave me some good advice too, such as if you press the G key, I can remove that horrible green thing when I'm doing terrain manipulation. And you all had the resounding notion that you wanted a pub. So what I think I'm going to do, we have quite a lot of buildings here and I don't want it to get too repetitive. I think I'm going to make one of these buildings into a pub, just so I won't have to build like the same residential area again and again and again and again oh i might do this one as a pub because then we've got a two-story house a single cottage and two little cottages over here for this bit over here i did download some custom content just to get this specialized properly so over here we're going to have a little village market is that what they're called what's it called farmer's market so that's going to be like the village corner or village square maybe I don't know. First and foremost, I am just going to start with the church because I think that one's going to be the most straightforward one. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. I hate building churches because they always have this big massive bit here and it's I can never get it right. But we're going to try. I don't know. I guess that works. With And then we'll put a big massive... It's gone. It's got there, there it is. Yeah, I think that works. <laughs> I don't know who I'm trying to convince more, you or me. This is just preliminary thinking. But these in all of the corners, so it looks open. Like it's a it's a bell tower. I don't know if I called it a bell tower originally, but that's that's the look I'm going for. Most churches are kind of really old brick, and this one would be perfect if it didn't have this thing on the bottom. But it does. Ah, oh, does it is it perfect? I don't know. I don't like how that looks purely just because of that and if we put these on i mean i don't know these windows are quite hard to color match with you can only really have other spanish style things with that so maybe if i put an archway it might go better oh, i don't think i like the look of that yeah why you gotta play me like this oh we could do that i guess and then they could be like really fitted into the whole brick theme but i'm still just not a massive fan of the bricks uh, uh. <laughs> If like really deck this place out, then these might not even be that noticeable. This bit is driving me insane because that just does not look good. The whole front bit's not central. Oh my good God. If we put something like that there, that could potentially block that. Let me see if we've got any other options because it's just EA all over, isn't it? Like just give me something that matches. Maybe that. That might work better. And then if I bring the roof down a little bit to show it. I don't know because I don't like how the roof is. One of my biggest tips with roofing is to have it the same angles. So don't have these two different angles like that because then that looks a little bit weird. What we could do is put like overgrown stuff, which could also be accurate because it's England and everything's really rainy and mossy. Yeah, I think I'll do that. And I'm also stuck with this bit over here because obviously they have big, massive stained glass windows. But is that going to work? Because we can't exactly fit it in, you know? I mean, they could, that could look all right. Kind of stained, the kind of fit the rest of the vibe. And we can just use this again to our benefit. <laughs> and it'll fit in with a nice quaint vibe of the village as well. Because I really want to go for that quaint, quaint looking English vibe. So the church has come on. It's doing all right. It's not doing bad. I need to repeat the windows on the side as well. We, could, we should have something else from get together that goes with that, right? Right? I mean, we could put them on either side. That could work. I don't think that's looking too bad. No, I'm quite happy. I'm quite pleased with that. I'm just, I don't think, nah. I was going to put these freezes, whatever they're called. I don't know, because I live in a little old bungalow in a little old town, so I don't really see much of them. <laughs> I think I have a cross somewhere from my decades challenge. Maybe a gold. We'll go for a gold. And we'll put one at the top as well. Just get on brand with Jesus. Yeah, that kind of looks good. Churches as well were some of the most highly decorated places. I know you aren't here for a history lesson, but they really were, especially Catholic churches. And this will have been like one of the oldest buildings in the village as well. Because I'm not going for a super old villagey style. I'm going for an old village, but modern time style. I think that's looking good. I don't think there's anything else I could really add to the roofing because it's not a great, what's it called? Them big ones. It's not like a great cathedral or anything. So I don't think it'd have any of them. I could have just put one of them on. I don't know. No, I like, I like how a homemade one. <laughs> For the front of it, I don't even know how many spaces we've got. We've got four, so we could do something like that. So the front of it is kind of open and then you go on to this bit and then it's two doors like that. That's quite churchy, isn't it? All of the floors can be removed as well, so we can have loads of light. As the Lord said, let there be light. There we go. That's the outside of the church done. I don't want it to be too overshadowed by trees. So I'm going to keep it quite small of an area and I also, I want a graveyard out the back. I've also been thinking about what to do to to kind of block this off and we could do something like this but i think we're very limited in the sense that everything would have to be very odd like this 
that doesn't work for me. I'm not on board with it. Other option is to do lots of hedges around it, which could also work. Oh, I do think I like that actually. And then the final option is to have lots of stones. Nah, I think the hedges. That looks kind of cute. And then we have the little entrance way over there. Over here in this bit, this is where I want to put the graveyard because all old churches have a graveyard really, don't they? I don't know whether to do it really ordered or not. I could have sworn as well I downloaded some custom content ones. Maybe I didn't, but I think I did. Yes, I did, I did, I did. The old people, not the old people, but like the, the posh old people will have had stuff like this, won't they? Because there is some old churches near where I live and there's a lot of these old styly ones. I'm not too sure how they're set up, but <laughs> that looks all right. It's a bit dark though, but the white's a bit too white. Like this is an old place. These ones over here can be like the graves of all the commoners because you know how the rich treated the poor. And I kind of want these to be covered in flowers because I, I can imagine the people of this town to have a lot of respect for the founders of it. And I think these are going to be the founders. Yeah, but there's still going to be some people who respected the poor people, so let's put some of these around. I don't know how well this is going to work because these are window decorations, but we'll just pretend that these are rested against it. I just want it to be really colourful, all right? Don't judge me. The people of this town are really invested in the whole... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what they're invested in, but they're just invested, all right? It gives me an excuse to decorate if I make a story like this. Now I'm just I'm just going to landscape it a little bit. You know, it's a graveyard in it, so it's going to be muddy. It's actually, it's coming together quite nicely. I get very bored with builds, very very fast so if I can't build anything within one sitting of it I usually get bored but this has been on my mind since I started it which is a good sign shows that I'm going to be consistent with this and you all like it as well which is is only a benefit because I know a lot of you are like oh it doesn't matter if we don't like it just do it for yourself anyway and I'm like ah but quite hard to enjoy something if other people don't like it and I care a lot about other people you know I'm just that kind of gal so the land's going to be taken care of because you know it's a church but the back bits they're not going to be that taken care of so they're not going to be full of lovely flowers i don't know wells and seats and everything the back bit is going to be a little bit not very tame here we go yeah yeah it's coming together it's coming together quite nicely front bit can be a little bit nicer i'll allow it that doesn't work that's not working for me if in doubt just shot rocks about that is my ultimate building advice back gardens you don't know what to put there shot a rock there i think this this back wall is a bit bare for me so i might just shot some of them shot a rock there i need some over here and i'm thinking maybe some seats just for the old biddies to go and sit and relax and talk about bingo all people love bingo some lights are definitely necessary but i want some, i want some proper oldish lights yes Right, there we go. The church is done. I quite like it. I think it's been a success. We haven't started the inside of it yet. Or do I, I might just do the inside of it now and we'll do it piece by piece. That might be better instead of having like one full episode dedicated to decorating and then one full episode dedicated to building. I think that might be a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. I'm so organized. Look at me. I'm gonna go for some really old style wood, like that one maybe. Let me just get some lights in here as well so I can see what I'm doing. My typical trick is to use lights like this so it gets really light, but I can see this church being kind of dark and just as churches are. Lots of candles, places. That's very, very light, isn't it? Girl, look how orange you fucking look, girl. Okay, I didn't expect that. I might do a little switcheroony. I think I should just add on the outside some more decoration because I, I, it does look like I've just shot <laughs> some green shrubs there. So let's focus on the outside, finish the outside and then we'll go on the inside. It's a very green and mossy church, that's the vibe, so I'm going to keep it up. Be consistent. It's very green and it's very mossy and you just might be looking at that thinking, isn't that a bit overdone? And I'm saying, nah, I, I'm liking how green and mossy this is. So now back onto the inside. I'm going to swap these round a little bit so this side can be a toilet and then that side can be a kitchen because all churches have like little secret kitchens. Trust me, I used to carry the cross at my local church and I absolutely loved it. So. Oh my God. Oh my God. And then for the kitchens, all I really want in the kitchen, it's not going to be extravagant. It's just literally going to be a place where you can make a nice cup of tea, put the kettle on, serve some good tea to the gossipers of the church. I don't really want much dead space either. I'm just going to have this bit as a bit of an island and have two seats coming out there. And that'll like, will make it look busy there. The old church buddies can sit there over a cup of tea, talk about the newest Jeremy Kyle.
Am I describing church people's lives or am I describing my own? Who knows? And we'll shot some tools or something. The nah, that doesn't fit. Scrap the tools. I don't know what to put. You can't just be like, oh, let's put a bar there because it's a church. Maybe the stuff from laundry day might work well, actually. That's what we should do. There. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Is there a I can shot here? I can kind of imagine like, see if the queens come. <laughs> or something and you know they make like special plates and coins and stuff all about the queen let's just say the queen visited once and the queen donated a plate oh i could utilize this as well a stone road but then again i could not i think the kitchen's pretty much done like i said i don't want it to be too overdone and then for this bit over here i'm gonna mix this with a the toilet and b the priest changing section i don't know if you've ever been in a, that side of a church but there's usually where the altar is i can't put it here because this, this is just not gonna work just like a little door near the altar and you can go in and it's big basically like a dressing room for the priest and stuff. If you've done like church stuff, you'll, you'll know that. Good old church times. We'll give the priest his own little dressing table and everything. Oh, no, it doesn't fit. Sorry, priesty, not today. We'll just give him a standing mirror. Oh, the puffer head one will work well. Yes, I like that. There we go. And the toilet, to be honest, is a pretty open bathroom. And does that make me uncomfortable? Yeah, it does actually. Like I hope nobody goes in to use this bathroom while the priest's getting changed. But also if they do, you know, there's not much that you can do to solve that. Like I said, I don't want too much focus being put upon like these little rooms here. I want it mainly to be in the church. So let's move on, shall we? I have got pews and I know that I've got pews. I think they might show up in benches. Yes, here we go. So we've got some pews. I kind of want these things within the church because a lot of churches have these. So I might use these to like separate the pews. Yeah. Yeah, I just keep saying yeah, but like ideas are coming to me and they're working and I just want to rejoice This is definitely Jesus's input because this kind of stuff does not usually happen for me, but it's happening Wow, I'm happy with that. I need to sort the lighting situation out as well. What lights can we put? Maybe there Perfect literally perfect. This is looking really churchy. I'm happy big royal red carpet down Eey. Everything's coming together and I'm I, mm, I'm a bit suspicious of it an absolutely big obnoxiously massive Oh wait, no, that's kind of blocking the pews, isn't it? Um, where can I put this? E I don't know. Ah, I might just put it at like the it's kind of blocking Jesus though, isn't it? If I size it down a little bit and just put it there that might work or unless I just I could just get that piano and put that there there we go it's not it's not exactly what i want but we're just gonna have to make do we'll have a little confessional area as well i think it could work the best there so it's outside the church and people can hear your sins and a little christening area over here we're going to christen all the sims in the town and then i want to i want to check how much of an open area this is so how much this actually works no okay we're gonna have to size down jesus i'm sorry jesus hon today is not your day maybe tomorrow and i know i've got some like i always call them chalets <laughs> but i know that's not what they're called but the things that ah uh, here we go chalice that's it i still don't know if i'm pronouncing that right but hey ho you never quite know and i think that's it i think it's decorated enough for a church like i think it's looking good for church right now it's got everything it needs really yeah the church is done i think next i might do the pub so let me know if you what you just want me to do next whether it be the pub or whatever Ever. but yeah i'm gonna end it hit wow i'm 40 minutes into recording i know that you said you just wanted a longer episode but i bet you weren't expecting this i mean the joke's on me because i had 40 minutes worth of footage and i've only been able to use about 13 minutes of it so i did try and make the episode a bit longer failed but i tried that's all that matters so thank you all very very much for watching this video thank you for all the love on the last one as well please do let me know what one you want me to do next subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you all dafter